This is a brand new cowl to an E-Flight Carbon Z Cub. We're going to scratch it up and then we're going to touch it up with some touch-up paint that you can find on eBay. And you can find touch-up paint from many E-Flight planes and FMS and many more brands to come soon. Stay tuned for our demonstration on how this paint will take care of your hanger rash. Sit tight. Hey YouTube, it's Sean Griffin, RC Planes. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. So this is a brand new cow to an E-Flight Carbon Z Cub, the two meter, and yours truly is selling touch-up paint for our E-Flight and FMS airplanes. I've got several brands, or uh, planes rather, in the uh, touch-up paint lineup, and I'll be getting more and more and more very soon. And then branching out to different uh, brands. We'll start covering everybody. That is uh, my battery done for our for our ABN Smart Speed Control programming number two. So that'll follow this video. So we're gonna nick this uh, cow up, kind of like it uh, had a little crash. Maybe it hit thrust reverse too quick and did a did a nose dive or. You know, maybe you were turning and the wingtip drug the uh, asphalt or something like that. This touch-up paint is perfect for that. In the purchase of uh, some of my touch-up paint, you'll get two of the bottles of the color for your plane and one bottle of the clear. The reason that I'm including the clear is because the sheen on the hard plastic versus the EPO foam is a little bit different. Or maybe you have already covered your plane in a, a clear coat of some uh, you know form or fashion, and then after you nick it or whatever, get a little hanger rash, you can take some of my touch-up paint and dab dab, and after it dries, you can put a little clear over it, and uh, hopefully that'll take care of your your awesome plane and keep it looking good. You've got to keep in mind fading. Okay, this particular plane and color, I've got two colors. Because during my uh, extensive uh, research and mixology of figuring out this uh, perfect paint, I came up with a shade that is a little lighter than I like. However, it may work out great for you. If your plane has been out in the sun for you know however long, a, a year or a season or what have you, then obviously if you bought some paint, the color of a new one, that your paint, paint, your plane is going to be faded a little bit. So, I've got two color choices. You could either ask for one of each, or you can choose one or the other. So, you'll find me on eBay. You'll find a listing for Carbon Z Cub Touch Up Paint. Then there'll be a separate listing for Carbon Z Cub Touch Up Paint. You know, I'll I'll label it uh, maybe a shade lighter or or ready for sun fading, something, something like that. You'll be able to differentiate the uh, difference. And for those of you that have made purchases in the past couple weeks, thank you. I appreciate it. I, I really do. And I want uh, to hear your guys' feedback. That'd be, that'd be really good. Uh, I'm selling it for as cheap as I can. If I didn't have to pay the $450 up to $5 in shipping, then you know obviously the price could be adjusted by that much. But the post office has got to get their cut, you know, plus I got a box and tape and all that stuff to go with it. And you can't drive somewhere and buy this from a store and come back home for five bucks. You know, you really can't. So I'll send it right to your door. All right, guys, let me get my other camera ready. We're going to take some sandpaper or a knife or something, and we'll put a couple nicks in this, and then we'll put some uh, touch-up paint on it, and we'll see some before and afters. Once again, just look for me on eBay. I'm the only person selling touch-up paint for E-Flight and FMS airplanes. I've got a pretty big lineup so far. Let me tell it to you real quick. Oh, golly. So, so far we've got the UMX pits, the FMS pits, the E-Flight air tractor, the Extra 300, the E-Flight commander, the E-Flight valiant, the E-Flight T28, the 1.1, the uh, F4U Corsair, the Carbon Z Cub, and the Draco. And then also keeping uh, you know in your thoughts that some of these planes share these colors. You know, there might be another plane that has uh, this 
same color orange right here. You know, maybe the uh, Carbon Z Cessna, or or who knows? Maybe you have a plane that is not in my list, but your plane is a, a red. Well, you could go to Horizon's website, look at your plane versus, say, my Draco, and maybe you can compare colors. Because I'm sure they don't have a different shade of red for every red they use. There's probably some sharing around there. And, uh, and then there will be more to come in the future for sure. All right, guys, hey, thank you. And uh, let's do our little demonstration. Hey there, fellow pilots. I've got a brand new cowl for the Carbon Z Cub. And we've got some awesome touch-up paint by yours truly. Once again, if you bought an order, you would get two of the color and one of the clear. I also have another batch of the orange that is a shade lighter. So if you think that your plane is faded, maybe you would want to go with the lighter color. For this example, let's put a little hanger rash on our cow and I'll give you a demonstration on how this paint is working. So I guess we're flying and we come into land and we hit thrust reverse too easy and the plane does a, a nose dive or or we're we're turning and one of the wings drag the asphalt or something. Anything can happen. We'll uh take this sandpaper right here and see if we can get us a little hanger rash. Something like something like so. My idea behind this paint is not to paint your plane, but when you do get a little tiny nick like we have right here, see if that helps, then you have a bottle to put in your toolbox to take to the RC field with you, and then you got a bottle to leave, leave at home on your uh, workbench. And let's get our... Let's get our touch-up paint out here. Just like so. And I'll see you guys back in about five or ten minutes or so when it dries. If you want to win a jet like this, all you have to do is subscribe. Click the like button and leave a comment. And then uh, ring the bell so you don't miss my next video. Add a thousand subscribers, we gave this jet away. At 5,000, we're going to give another one. I don't know what it is yet. We'll see when that time comes. So, hey, subscribe, guys. Happy flying. It's been about 10 minutes or so now. So let's see how our touch-up paint did where we fixed a little, little hanger rash. Right there. I would say it's a pretty dang good match. It is a hair on the lighter side, which is good because everybody's plane is going to fade just a little bit. And if yours has faded a lot of bit, then I have one more shade lighter. Find me on eBay. All you have to do is search Touch Up Paint for E Flight. Or FMS airplanes and I have many different listings on many different uh, paints so thank you guys for your support okay well there's your little touch-up demonstration once again you can find me on eBay 
I'm only making a few bucks on each order and that'll go into helping me uh, make these videos for you guys and uh, and then everybody's uh, happy 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 so hey thank you guys look for me on eBay and uh, happy flying and oh, 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 oh and the YouTube algorithm needs to see that you guys like me and then it will put me in front of other people so the thumbs up and leaving a comment and then doing this guy right here ringing the notification bell so you don't miss my next video and also subscribing check to see if you're still subscribed for some reason like 200 and something people have unsubscribed in the past few months and it just happens it happens to me too I watch YouTube as a uh, my main TV source so who knows what happens all right hey until next time you'll see me here right there